This is Jeff Kooner from the Washington Times sitting in for Michael Savage on the Savage Nation, 1-800-449-8255. Stephen, in the great state of Florida, welcome to the Savage Nation. Hi, Jeff. How are you? Uh, I'm good. How are you, Stephen? Three, three quick points, okay? Uh, I've been holding on a bit. Um, first, the moral argument you make against Gingrich, we, do, we really, as Christians, I'm a Roman Catholic, we don't want to go there. Don't forget, we are the, uh, you know, the religion of redemption and forgiveness. Secondly, you mentioned the GOP. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on, Stephen. Um, yes, we're the religion of redemption and forgiveness. If you ask for forgiveness and if you change your behavior. But if you don't change your behavior, if you're a compulsive liar, or more than that, uh, you can't stop being a womanizer. And believe me, there are a lot of skeletons in Gingrich's closet. Why should I offer somebody forgiveness when he's shown me who he is as a person who's completely untrustworthy? If he'll violate the Ten Commandments, if he'll violate the sacred teachings of the church, if he'll violate the fundamental tenets of civilized human decency, why should I trust him with the presidency? Hello, are you still there? I'm there. I'm not asking you. Oh, okay. No, no, do you, are you asking me? Because I, cause I'm not Jesus Christ, neither are you. And, and that's no, 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 no. But I mean, look, look. No one's playing Jesus Christ. But look, they did it. Look, come on. Christ did say very clearly that you shall not, ha you shall not commit adultery. You shall not even uh, look at another woman that this would be wrong. Christ did teach us how to behave morally and ethically. Now, if you have a man that flagrantly disregards every decent moral principle that we know of, who leaves a wife dying of cancer? Who leaves a wife with multiple sclerosis? A philanderer who literally has sex with multiple numerous women. I mean, and you're telling me as a Christian we're supposed to say, oh, no, we have... Since when did Christianity have no standards? I mean, what's the difference between us and the liberals? I, I mean, if anything goes, what's the point of having standards or principles? Hello? Go ahead, Stephen, I'm asking you. I'd like to respond. I mean, first of all, we have seen to the Roman Catholic Church, just to let you know, that it used to go to brothels all the time. So, let me... No, 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 hold on. They, but they changed. For example, Augustine, I don't want to get into a theological argument. He led a very debauched life. But then he completely transformed himself and he changed. He became reborn. He became a new man. Hey, he wasn't, uh, they didn't make him a saint. Hey, look, by your standards, uh, uh, Madonna should be a saint. By your standards, uh, Kim Kardashian should be a saint. By your standards, Paris Hilton should be a saint. I mean, if, if it's the person who sleeps around most who becomes a saint, then, I mean, what does sainthood mean? So here you have a man who's acknowledged cheating on his wives, who we know has a zipper problem, who still has a zipper problem, who in fact asked for an open marriage, and so what are we as Christians supposed to say? Throw out the Bible? Throw out Jesus? Throw out the Ten Commandments? Throw out everything we've been taught to believe? Why? Because this guy's actually, because what? He's half decent on the debate stage? He can feign indignation? He can stand there and stick it to Juan Williams? He can stick it to John King? I don't want, I'm not running, for me, this election is not about who can bash the media. This election is not about who's the best debater on the stage. This election is about the man who can restore the United States and take us away from Obama's secular socialism. I'm stunned as a Roman Catholic that this man's three divorces, I mean, you know, divorce is a sin in the Catholic Church, especially if you cheat on your wife. Does anything, I mean, what, I mean does anything of the Catholic Church penetrate uh, with you uh, down there in Florida? Stephen? Uh, I have three cardinals in my family, sir, so don't even go there, okay? I know. Uh, look, I don't care if you have three cardinals in your family. I'm asking you. Ask, well, then ask your three cardinals what they think. Because I'll tell you this, between you and me, I got good sources in the Vatican. They're not big fans of Newt Gingrich. I'll tell you this right now. So what are we supposed to do now? Bless open marriages? Is this now your new formula for how to uh, uh, reform the Catholic Church? Jeff, can I just make my two other points? No, I'm asking you to defend your first point. Because you came out saying that somehow I'm being presumptuous. How am I being presumptuous? You're cutting me off. and The audience can't even hear me speak. What do you mean? You've been making your points. I'm asking you for the last time. 
If character was an issue for Bill Clinton, if a man will betray his wife, if a man will betray his sacred vows, if a man will betray the fundamental teachings of Christianity and the Catholic Church, why should we Christians Do support him? judge. Let you yourself be judged. Oh, please, spare me that. Don't, Look, yeah, don't give me that. No, 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 listen, buddy. Look, don't stand there and give me the do not judge routine, okay? Because I'm sick of it. This is what the liberal culture has been peddling for the last 50 years. We live in a non-judgmental society. No, 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 I'm sorry. Hey, we're all we have moral standards, my friend. We have moral standards. And this is about upholding moral standards. Where have you been living the last 20 years? Where have you been living? I've been living here. Where the hell have you been living? Hey, do you know that we produce more porn in this country than any other country in the world? And you think that's good? And you think that's good? No, that's my point. So why do you want to get a why do you want to get a sex addict? Why do you want the presidency of the United States? It's unbelievable. You're rooted. You're no, no, you are because you're violating the Catholic Church. You're violating the teachings of Christ. You're violating everything that Christians are supposed to uphold. You want to sell your soul for what? So you can see Obama get kicked around on the debate stage by a guy who's going to bring the party down in flames? Hey, listen, I've met your kind before, okay? I know your kind, your cafeteria Catholics, who pick and choose what you like, and then stand there and say, oh, don't judge, don't judge. You tell me, thou shall not kill. Thou shall not commit adultery. Thou shall not steal. What is that but standards and judgments? No, no, I'm sorry. When it comes to a man on his third wife, who's cheated on two wives before him, when one was dying of cancer and the other one had multiple sclerosis, and then you stand there and say it's not an issue? I'm sick of it. This is what we tell our kids. Nothing is an issue anymore in this country. That's why we have soaring divorce rates. That's why we have a porn culture. That's why we have an abortion culture in this country. Because we don't stand for standards anymore. And now you want me to support this charlatan? How is he better than Bill Clinton? Can I we stood up, we Can stood I up and impeached Bill Clinton. And oh, when, look, when, well, he and, was, hey, look, he, he was reelected, wasn't he? So much, and, for moral, so much for your moral country, Jeff. I don't care. I don't care. You, I'm not going to betray my moral standards for you. Well, I'm not Who do you think you are? My moral I'm not going to betray my moral standards. Well, then you're not a Catholic. If you think adultery is okay, you're not a Catholic. If you think pornography is okay, you're not a Catholic. If you support abortion, you're not a Catholic. You don't even know me from Adam. Because I can judge you by your statements. And your statements tell me everything I need to know about you. It's people like you that have betrayed the church, betrayed Christianity, and I'm telling you right now, for the last time, okay, it is people like you that have betrayed Christianity, betrayed the Catholic Church, because you can't stand on your principles. And I'm sick and tired of it. No, we in the church, we as Christians, we influence the culture. The culture doesn't influence us. Okay? So that's why, for example, in the 19th century, we opposed slavery. Christians opposed slavery. They led the abolition movement, even though there were only 10% support in the public. Literally. We lead the charge against abortion. We lead the charge against rampant divorce. We lead the charge against sexual promiscuity because it is destroying our country, destroying our children, destroying our families. So don't stand there and tell me as Catholics we have to accept a man who's been married three times. I'm cheated on his wives, who's betrayed every principle the church has stood for. Ah, you know what? They don't pay me enough to deal with people like you. Honestly, there's no reasoning. There's no reasoning with people like you. There's none. There's no reasoning. It doesn't matter now. You know, it reminds me, I swear to you, I knew this country was in big trouble. When I watched William Shatner's Raw Nerve, he's got this show, this uh, uh, interview show. And he's got this porn star. Apparently she's very big, Jenna Jameson or something. And she says, oh, I'm a very devout Catholic. I'm a very devout Catholic. I just like to be in tap with my sexuality. I like to enjoy sex. That's why I do porn. She even got married a second time, and with her husband they did porn together. And she said, but I drew the line with him. I just had sex with him on the screen. That's all. Just he and my husband. And I'm thinking, is this what the Catholic Church has come down to? Now you can be a, a Catholic porno star. Now you can have a Catholic open marriage. You can have Catholic divorce. Let's do Catholic abortion. Hey, it all goes now. My friends, this is the end of the Roman Empire. 
These are the days that we're living in. I'm not asking for sainthood in the presidency. Believe me, I know we're all flawed. I know we're all sinners. I go to the confessional like as much as the next guy. But my friends, we don't have to have Caligula. It doesn't have to be a bordello. That was the argument I made under Clinton. If a man will betray his country, sorry, if he'll betray his wife repeatedly, shamelessly, without conscience, he will betray his country. Did Bill Clinton not betray us? Who gave us Al-Qaeda? Who let Iran go nuclear? Who let North Korea go nuclear? Who let Pakistan go nuclear? Who was the one that created all the seeds of Islamic fascism? Who armed the Chinese to the teeth, betraying this country at every turn? You don't think a guy like Gingrich has been doing that? Where has he been on the southern border? Where has he been with trade on China? Where has he been on every fundamental issue affecting this country? Nowhere. He's cutting ads with Nancy Pelosi. Hey, my friends, don't listen to those soft kisses he's blowing to you. I know he's flirting with you on the, des on, on the debate stage, but he will betray you the way he's betrayed his ex-wives. 1-800-449-8255.